All right, what we're looking at today is a new battery from the folks over at Redodo. Some people pronounce this Redodio. I'm not sure how they get that or if that's correct, or but I will always call it Redodo. Let's get this open and check it out. All right, so we got our product manual here. And what we're looking at is a 140 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery, 12.8 volt with 150 amp BMS. That, that to me is what makes this really unique and interesting. And it also has Bluetooth. We'll take a look at this stuff here in a minute. Got our pulse bolts here. We got uh, two bolts, two uh, protective caps and a high density foam or whatever you call this stuff. Packaging the good stuff anyway. This out of the box here. All right. All right, when you first get this uh, battery and you check it out and you realize that uh, there's no voltage on it, don't panic. They did that on purpose. They've, they've deactivated the battery for safety reasons for shipping. All you gotta do to activate the battery is either connect up a battery charger really quickly or simply connect the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative of any other 12 volt battery. It'll activate the battery in like a split second and then you'll be able to activate and see the uh, Bluetooth and check the voltage and all that sort of thing. So don't freak out when it looks like it's not working. That's uh, on purpose. So we've got the Redodo 12.8 volt, 140 amp hour with Bluetooth. They call this smart. And your, uh, your basic logos and all that sort of thing. Up on top here, it has a, a scan code for the uh, the apps. And uh, we'll go into the app in a little bit. So the specifications up here on the top, 12.8 volt, 140 amp hour, 1,792 watt hours, 14.4 volt charge, 140 amp slash 150 amp. So you can discharge at 150 amp and charge at 140 amp. So a total of 1,920 watts of power. That's what I like. I, I'm always preaching about needing the need for two 12 volt batteries if you're gonna wanna do any sort of cooking because you need to run a 2000 watt inverter to have any efficiency to run kind of any kind of standard uh, induction cooktop or anything like that. But with this one, it is different because you have at least a 150 amp BMS, 1920 watts is to be the max draw on this. So it would be paired nicely with a 2000 watt inverter. Uh, you wouldn't want to keep, you don't want to keep any inverter going at max capacity for any length of time anyway. So, but it could get up to 1920 watts before the BMS could possibly shut this down. We're going to test that and see if it actually shuts down at 1920 watts uh, later on in this video. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you get a new battery is uh, charge it up all the way. And then we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and get that charged. And then we'll take a look at the app and then we'll run a capacity test on this video. All right. So here's our bolts here and our protective caps, which we'll save for later. We've got our bolts screwed on here and we'll get this charged up and then uh, go over the app. And then we will run a capacity test to make sure that we get the 140 amp hours advertised uh, capacity here. Let's go ahead and get that hooked up now. I'm gonna quickly pause this video for a moment and ask you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. So go ahead and click that subscribe button and the like button as well while you're at it. Then ring that notification bell to get, to get notifications. I'd really appreciate it. Now let's get back to it. All right, we got this all charged up here. Let's go ahead and take a look at this app. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this app here. Now, I will say one thing I don't like about this app is that you do need to create an account to access your battery. I wish these companies would stop doing that. Nobody wants to have to give away all your personal information just to use the app for your phone. I'm personally a techie person, so I think it's worth it. I just make a fake email that I use for all of these apps and then I don't need to worry about it. But so I've already been in this app and renamed this. So after you get logged in, you activate your device. There's either a scan code 
on the top of the battery that you can use inside the app to connect your battery, or you can just let it discover it by uh, Bluetooth. So I've already done that here and renamed the battery. It comes with this, the name is like some big long, like the serial number or something. So let's go ahead and get into the, the uh, we'll click on this here. I've got this fully charged up here. It's a, a pretty simple app, but uh, what I do like about it is that the um, it shows you the, the time left on at the current power consumption rate, how long this battery is going to last. Let's go ahead and uh, plug something in here. What we're doing, we're charging our big, huge Mango Power E power station on the quick charge mode, which is about 1800 watts. So we're going to see while we're in here uh, if we can manage to uh, trigger this BMS. 1979, 1974, 157, 158 amps. So we're over the 140 or no, 150 amp uh, rating by a little bit. All right, it's been able to run this for over a minute now. So I have this hooked to a uh, 2000 watt inverter and I just tripped the inverter. Let's try this again. So we're doing the same thing, 158 amps. So like I said, you could run a 2000 watt inverter off of this single battery and we're able to get up to 160 amps here, which is 10 amps over the rated 150 amp. We would probably need to get this up. Usually these things are underrated. We could probably get another uh, 10 amps or so from some other reviews that I've seen, but I don't have the capability to do that at the moment because like I said, I have a 2000 watt inverter and we're tripping the 2000 watt inverter uh, overload protection before we're tripping the battery. And uh, so that's the main thing I wanted to see was that you can operate this uh, Bredodo battery on a 2000 watt inverter without having to have two batteries like I normally suggest that you need uh, with it to have 200 amp BMS. The 150 amp BMS is enough to pretty much handle it. So there's not a whole lot to this app, as you can see here. We have your balance, your cells, your state of your cells and stuff. And everything's looking in order here. And you can turn the battery off and on. We'll go to the battery info. And here's where I renamed it. You click the little uh, the button there. It said it normally came with the serial number, something as the device name, I think. It tells you the, te uh, the temperature, the cycle life. We've done one cycle on it is all. And uh, you can disable the discharge function off and on uh, to you know, basically deactivate the battery. And then you can actually turn the battery off, uh, which like that's how it comes when it's shipped, uh, which is why we had to, to put a little charge to it to get it started. We don't want to do that here. Or we could remove the device uh, completely from the app if for some reason we needed to, to do that. So it's a pretty simple app, but I do like, again, that um, the the time here that it, so that at this 1989 watts would last 50 minutes on this battery that's pretty amazing if you think about just how much power consumption that is all right so i got a new uh shunt here i'm trying out so you're going to notice that the uh the app is a little bit different than what i normally use and uh, so far i'm really liking this uh, i'll do a video about this in the near future I want to run this a few times before I can say one way or the other, but so far it looked really good with this test. This is the first one I've used it on, and I really like this app a lot better than my previous one. So let's go ahead and get this capacity test started here. And uh, just note, I did mess this up, and uh, I had the settings wrong on this new shunt, but my mistake does not influence the result. You'll notice that uh, there was a mistake made in the, uh, in the percentage calculator, that's showing in the app. That was my own fault. It doesn't impact the results. You just pay attention to the part where it's saying consumed amp hours. That's what's important. All right, let's get it going.
So this is my final thoughts on this battery. This Redodo 12.8 volt, 140 amp hour battery has several shining features that make it really stand out. Of course, the, the obvious one is the 140 amp hours that they've managed to squeeze inside of this Group 31 case. So if you're in a small space in an RV or a van or pretty much anywhere, if the, you know, the, the size reduction on batteries is a big thing to me. And then the uh, low temp protection. Now, I always advocate the low temp protection, if you're, especially if you're traveling at all. Even if you don't live in places where it's freezing, if you're going to travel to places where it might be freezing, you're going to want that. I think this should be a standard feature on all batteries nowadays. And then, of course, the Bluetooth. I really like the Bluetooth app especially the way that it shows the um, the length of time it's going to take at the current rate of discharge to completely discharge the battery. That's extremely helpful so you know how much you're using up of your battery. And it makes this similar to a portable power station or something like that. In fact, for a single battery, this would be a really good choice for building a DIY portable power station. And I'm going to be doing exactly that here in the next couple of weeks. If you're interested in that, Make sure you click the subscribe button down below so you can see whenever that gets posted. And the uh, the big shining feature to me is the 150 amp BMS, making it possible to run a 2000 watt inverter off of a single 12.8 volt battery, which again, that's the minimum that I think that you need to really, if you're going to plan to use any sort of cooking appliances and any sort of heavy loads on uh, on your system. A single 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour battery just doesn't really cut it. That's why I have always advocated for getting two of those as a bare minimum type of system. Th this would make a pretty good starter system. It gives you enough power to kind of dabble and play around and, and build a small 12 volt system. So the current price on this, including all of the coupons for Black Friday and that, uh, is $238.28 or something like that because I have a, a, a an exclusive coupon for this exact battery of 8% off on their official website. And I also have a 6% off coupon that you can use site-wide uh, at Redodo's website if you wanted to check out some other stuff or whatever. I'll drop all the links to that down below if you want to check that out. I'll go ahead and drop links to some of my other battery review videos right over here. And uh, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next.